New this evening, right now, if a big earthquake were to hit Alabama or Tennessee, it's possible Pickwick Dam could fail. Because of this seismic threat, TVA is reinforcing Pickwick to be able to withstand a large quake. Pickwick Dam is about an hour northwest of the Shoals in Savannah, Tennessee. Way 31's Brecken Terry is live after getting exclusive access to the Pickwick project and how recent bad weather has slowed down TVA's plans. Brecken. Greg, I'm here at Wilson Dam in the Shoals, and the next dam downstream from here is Pickwick. Now, back in February, when we had mass amounts of flooding along the Tennessee River, you see here, it delayed TVA's project. But with river levels now back down to normal, prep work on the Pickwick Dam project is starting. Pickwick Dam was completed in 1938. When the dam was built, the technology used to build it was state of the art. Pickwick Dam has a clay court in its center. TVA says back then little was known about earthquakes and the effects they could have on dams. Well, one of the things we realized in the testing process of Pickwick Dam was that it was seismically susceptible to deformation. So what we're trying to do is protect that from occurring. That means if a large quake were to hit, Pickwick Dam's clay core could shift and the dam could give way. Pickwick is a safe dam as it sits today. Uh, the only thing that affects Pickwick or the deformation that we referred to as earlier is only under a seismic condition. What we're trying to do is bring it into what we refer to as a seismic standard. TVA has already equipped the dam with an updated warning system, adding some 30 seismic instruments that monitor the dam 24 7. Bernie Ald, TVA's senior program manager at Pickwick Dam, tells us their main concern is how close Pickwick Dam is to the New Madrid fault line. We're monitoring earthquakes both in East Tennessee as well as we're monitoring in West Tennessee. So it's something that we're very cognizant on. It's something that we look at. We monitor all our dams under any seismic activity uh, throughout the valley. Now the big project of reinforcing Pickwick Dam will start and it's costing TVA about $150 million. They have cleared trees and moved equipment into place to start adding a berm, which is a raised bank. This is what it looks like now and this is what it will look like after. It'll extend out about 50 to 75 foot to come down and then as you see the little ponded area that you're looking at there now, you'll see an extended fill and again this is all basically to uh, to mitigate the seismic activity and keep the dam in shape. TVA will be using a million tons of rock and sand to reinforce the dam. That's equal to 300 Saturn V rockets. They'll also be using all local contractors on the project. If you're wondering what it would look like if the dam were to breach, Ald tells us it would be similar to the flooding in 2013 in Savannah, Tennessee. What we want to do is educate the people so that people that have been flooded prior to that process would see the same form of flooding should a seismic event occur of that nature that would cause any form of a breach of the dam. Now, TVA tells us river navigation will not be affected. Work on that berm will actually start this fall, and it will take two years for the project to be complete. Live in Muscle Shoals, Brecken Terry, Way 31 News. All right, thank you, Brecken. In June, TVA, the Army Corps of Engineers, and the Federal Emergency Management Agency will be doing a multi agency training exercise simulating a big earthquake at the new Madrid fault line.